live Hi everyone this is Emmett Gimmer and I'll be returning to Rogue Tech and man there's a lot of things happening right this moment let me start traveling and then we shall worry about it afterwards all right sorry Capillan but I will have to actually ah oh shit actually that was stupid yeah no I need to so um Directorate declared war on uh, cannabis for for role playing reasons. <laughs> None of it is like, yeah, I dislike cannabis. No. So uh, let me just figure out where I'm going first, <laughs> and then we'll worry about the rest afterwards. Let me double check. I'm not familiar with these parts of the system, so I'm like, I I am a little blind moving forward, and there will be a bit of an uphill battle. Actually, no, I should. Flip this would probably benefit my side quite a bit more. The question is, can I find a mission? I'm not doing that. Thanks. Okay, so, um, is that, alright, let's go here, oh wait, no, I could check, oh, I'm just being an idiot, <laughs> I'm just being an idiot, let's see, So, yeah, declare war on cannabis. Sorry, I'm just trying to recollect my thoughts and get things started. And then we shall see what happens. So, the four reasons is first, um, like I said, they're, they're all role playing. So, the first one is um, restoration, like, uh, three, what do you call it? Three restoration systems were nuked by Torians, and the last faction that happens to, be, to have funded it. I, I know it's random, but it, it happens to be a member of Canopus. So that was actually, in terms of role playing, that's like perfect. <laughs> that's exactly what I needed. So basically, I'm saying, you know, they, they took the lives of these innocent Oregon people, and as a result, uh, Need to avenge them, something like that. No. Nothing too too special. And then the second reason is basically restoration is a puppet of cannabis going to liberate restoration. And then the third one is um Third one is uh, cannabis raising tensions because they, they constantly like denounce threatening wars, training these packs and make it seem like war is imminent. And guess where director is at? <laughs> not in a good position, mind you. Like if these wars do break out, it's it's not gonna work very well for. Man, I'm not getting very lucky with these mission. Luckily I have the money so I could go back and forth. But we shall see. We shall indeed see. Alright. Um... <laughs> All right, I'm glad I have the money so I could like actually 
do this because it's it's gonna be hard initially just getting things to work out but it will wait what is this okay yeah not having a lot of luck with a uh, mission but it's okay yeah not quite surprised Ah, uh, let's see. That's going to be interesting. <laughs> there are people talking in Discord, and I'm like, yeah, you can talk. And they can talk. I mean, I'm I'm just gonna play. <laughs> Get missions done. Flip system. Strengthen them. You know, just war stuff. And then I also put out a recruitment post. So if there are people who's gonna join me, so be it. See, just me and another one. <laughs> uh. Yeah, right now it's just me and another directorate fashion. That's it. Oh, uh, with. But we're also fighting with the pirates, so if you pirates on the other side can't fight a proper front war. And I'm definitely gonna give them hell, so <laughs> give them hell. Wow. They don't actually had that range yet. They don't tend to miss. The question is how many lances are here? Let's see. Huh. Yes, command. Uh, let's see. <laughs> uh yeah no I can't disclose this so you just have to take my laughter first. No, I'm talking to like a former uh Valkyrie mates. So. Oh shoot, they do have Yeah, they do have reinforcements. That is more than four lances and Canopus is not Comstar World Blake, so they don't have like four lance. Let's see. Ooh. Is that Annihilator? Could be. Looks like Annihilator. Y you would think I could recognize those by now, but yeah, not quite. Yeah, there are definitely a lot of Good to go. them. The sooner I could take out their numbers, the better. And more we're back. We got a loudspeaker here, and when we go into battle, we play music very loud. I I do know there's like a lot of action in uh, Discord, but I'm like, I'll catch up on those later. I don't have that much free time. <laughs> Did I just shoot through a rock? That's honestly what it looked like. I shot through the rock. Harden furrow. Oh, that thing had hardened furrow. I see. I see. Uh. Yeah, 
Yeah, let's knock you down. Let's knock you over. The more of them knocked over, the the better it is for my allies here to maybe contribute. And I'm saying maybe, like it's definitely asking a lot of the AI. I mean, that's the crazy thing. Like, if they improve the AI, allies might not be that useless. And who knows what season two will bring? Commander? Let's get rid of Commander. you. Good, thank you for noticing. Solid. That is. Oh, that's Stormwolf. It was so tiny, I thought it was like a Super Wasp or something. Alright, let's see. <laughs> I do for you. Okay, can we get rid of this Eborn Jaguar? Or at least hurt it bad enough that it'll be less of a problem. Let's take out six. Let's see. I just realized I had a mech like close proximity. That was not smart. <laughs> I got a loss of mech there. That would have went poorly. Okay, so um, let's harass you, maybe. Okay, let's stop shooting through my mechs, please. Is it running away? Oh, it looks like. Maybe I'm just going crazy. Maybe I'm just going crazy. Um, sure. Stormwolf. I think that Stormwolf also has this back turn to me. I love how, like, after their initial really good shot on that trebuchet, it hasn't done much else. What the heck? Why don't you dig? How beautiful. They hit the head from there. Don't know. We got the legs. I would have preferred if I took out like arm and torso, but yeah. You finished off? Good. Three more enemies left. You got decapitated. Three more enemies. Standing by. Firm. Maybe I shouldn't be pushing that aggressively with my salamander. I mean, it does have some armor, but <laughs> it's it's still not like a frontline unit. There are still things that could. Oh, they have a vehicle. The longbow is. The longbow is gonna be a bit annoying to deal with because it's kind of. I don't think I have a clean line of sight to it. But hey, at least the vehicle is gone, so that only leaves the longbow. That's pretty good. Alright. Let's see. Hey, I mean that trebuchet is still alive. Actually, I might die now. <laughs> I jinxed it. Its engine will not handle the fall. Yep. It's a mother beautiful bridge. And it's yeah, getting line of sight on that long boy is going to be annoying.
hoping to expose something. On my way. Double time. Commander. Probably won't be able to use yeah all of those without. Now they're overheating. Oh, we just knocked it down. I'm not gonna move, bother moving the rest of you. Yep. I mean, it's an Atlas 3, so it's not very maneuverable. Otherwise, actually, it might even be the angle. That's honestly a pretty okay. frustrating angle to work with. Well, heat sink destroyed. Aye, aye. Gonna be dissipating less and less heat. All right, was hoping for that earlier, but you know, better late than never, I guess. Mission successful. All right, so that's the first mission. Yeah, it looks like Cersinus will take a while to get a Atreus. Is this worth something? Wow, that's worth like nothing. <laughs> Is this worth something? Oh no, 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 it's not. Not at all. So. At this. All right, so that's the first mission. The the drop was m m my drop wasn't great. <laughs> I can't blame it because it's it's not automatic, right? It's manual, and that wasn't quite the best. I wonder if there's a better one. It's on these maps like I don't see that often, so it's like it's it's hard to figure out where should I be dropping everything. The, And yep, let's pass the month. That yes, yeah, the tough part is finding the contracts. But afterwards, it becomes somewhat easier somewhat <laughs> yeah no the like from what i heard for for the devs the the contracts are like the way it's generated the code is a mess so it's most definitely one of the things that they are avoiding Now I need to also thing else. Um, I can find it. I don't know how we have this much uh, stuff in our channel. I guess we do talk a lot. <laughs> like oof. I mean, I'm not saying it as a bad thing. And I can't find anything. Um. All right, this one. Did I? Okay, I was like, did I not copy? Uh, let's see that one and do that around this hmm. it will be interesting 
They have some decent players, so let's see. How it's gonna end? I I don't know. I'm just doing this for fun. It's it's also for role playing purposes. Uh, is this okay? This is the one I want. The high ground of like in terms of role play. Let me. Uh All right, um definitely going to reserve until they have their turn. It's an obvious. Whoa! <laughs> wow, that condor just <laughs> got chunked. I mean, it doesn't have much armor, mind you, but still. What was it? A long tongue? Or is it AC? Yeah, thumper cannon. Well, our armies are. Uh, let's. All right. Yeah, that's a problem with these vehicles. Actually, since they're all vehicles, I might accidentally trigger the reinforcements. <laughs> it's like, whoops! That was intended. Yeah, the problem is, I think quite a few are, quite a few of these are hovercraft, so they can actually move pretty far, which means that they take a bit longer to process their turns. And then we have like eight of them that that could be up to like I don't know how many more seconds. <laughs> yeah. I, I I don't know how many extra so these are definitely I mean I could try to deal with Reserve you so fast and Let's. Didn't have that much armor. That was like that thumper cannon should have taken a huge chunk. What is? Standing by. Um. You do the chaos on trading. <laughs> uh, and I did like role playing wise, it makes sense. Role playing wise, it makes sense. <laughs> okay, anything else? Probably done. Um, let's see. Wow, if I take out the legs of that one, that'll be like pretty good. Hoping for it. Um, yeah, just high explosive. Wait, that means the Highlander might get turned. I'm just here for the. <laughs> I just here for the role play. Like my my entire declaration of war was basically role play. So that means they will etch. Wait, they don't get a turn. Did they fix it? <laughs> Crazy. Oh no, because the turn is okay. So so if they drop and their initiative goes lower than the current one, but because I reserve so much, they don't get a turn, right? Oh shit. I this might actually be a very quick one. Okay. I I wish well Yeah that'd be true. Okay, um
I guess we're that. I actually thought we won, <laughs> which is like, yeah, it's it's basically counting what counting your chickens before where the eggs are laid. I mean late. Can't talk. Hmm. Orders. Okay, so let's just do our miss. Get rid of these reinforcements so I could like actually focus. I mean, like, so many Otherwise, they're attacking my side, which is not great. So, boy, that. Huh. Oh, it does. I I only actually I don't want to waste time right now. <laughs> I'll deal with it another time. There's there's someone who is pointing out things and. Yeah, I'm not gonna waste time. <laughs> we should be on opposite sides of the plenty of. <laughs> All right, so I have to wait for a cobalt. Yeah, I will. I will reply to messages Ready. later. I have it. That vehicle. Junkyard. Oh, okay. I'm still slightly ahead of schedule. You have to wait for it to go down. But that is something. Attention to you. look out the reinforcements. Um, oh, I haven't even touched their escorts. Okay, let's light that area into like literal inferno and then, yeah, <laughs> they will incinerate themselves. Um, think my allies and this they have the potential hmm maybe not <laughs> I'm hoping not like fingers crossed I'm counting yeah see like that one isn't even using his weapons You know, if if I was in this situation, if I'm driving a vehicle, even a tank, and I'm just surrounded by flames, surrounded by infernos like this, I'm like, yeah, screw this. Oh wow, I can't even hit them. That is uh, very interesting indeed. Huh. Yeah. Actually, that might be part of the new AI they were talking about. That they recently implemented, where the AI will use uh, cover better and stuff. That's actually pretty cool, because by being down there, it makes it harder for my real guns to be used. The problem for them is I also have uh, artillery and missiles, so it's like I don't give a damn. <laughs> Yeah, no point moving you. I mean, some of them might be. Nope. You have plenty. I mean, one of them might come into the open. Yes, 
and I'll be able to eliminate it because I'm like I don't know if I could do like one artillery shot one kill one of them is still pretty healthy Finish it off. Decent, thank you. I feel bad about shooting the middle guy. Mission successful. All right. First system. I will need to do another mission and then start working my way around. Um, I actually don't know. Ah, oh, cobalt. <laughs> cobalt are worth a lot more money. Like, oh, he's fine. I just want to get the war. Yeah, no, I, I took my Sunday night off, and then I. Let's see. Okay, um, wait, I lost track of what I was going to talk about. <laughs> Sorry, I'm trying to check Discord as well because, you know, there's still the excitement and stuff. And, and Davion is still taking their sweet time, um, taking the systems that I see to them. <laughs> it's like, come on. Uh... Um, none of these are great. Do what I can do. Go here. You know, after fighting Davion, I I feel like I I learn a thing or two about how to mobilize, how to maneuver, and that sort of thing. So it was interesting. Hmm. We have something. No, that's coalition. Yeah, finding missions are just a nightmare at times. Wait, this is Maris, right? <laughs> what? You you expect me to know the names? Even the ones I just captured? Psh, you expect too much of me. Seriously. Um Right. Maris. Man, this is twelve days, so it's not that bad. It it will be a good bit of back and forth, so things can get interesting. It depends on the circumstances, I will have to adjust, but hey, that's what I've been doing, <laughs> and I have to do this whole time. So, hmm. Come on. They're trying to urge the game to run smoother, but faster. I'm trying not to fall off my chair. <laughs> it's just, if you hear like a crash and be like, ouch, you, you know what happened. Oh, my chair. I won't admit it. I'm, I'm just saying that there's a good possibility. Hmm.
Let's see. Got this. All right. Wait, did I? Yeah, earlier I talked about... So there are four reasons. Earlier I talked about the new king, because Canopus was the last... Well, one of their members was the last one to fund the Taurians before Taurians' demise, and then nuked, uh, nuked three systems. Uh, second one was releasing restoration from being puppets. Uh, third one will be... Third one was them destabilizing... Fourth one is uh, Canopus um, not aiding, not aiding uh, periphery unit uh, nations, preferring to help more of the inner sphere, and say there's rumors of Star League, so they're probably trying to gain favor so they could get a seat. Something like that. Oh, their lance is here. So that means the the bait is down there. That's where if if they don't trigger this time, I'm like, are you kidding me? I mean, technically, they do have a higher chance of hitting my allies because my allies are on the low ground. Okay, you're running away. Is that awesome? Probably is awesome. And that's a lot of PPCs. Wow, well, a lot. By a lot, I mean three, so. <laughs> wow, that was bad. See, I, I wish you have the control to, like, decide on where they actually uh, face. That would be amazing, but, you know, that, it, it does make me sound ungrateful because Rogue Tech, like, team has done so much. Right? I feel bad about saying, oh yeah, this, that. Let's see. Patient confirmed. Um. Good to go. I was hoping to knock one of them down and make the one that's already knocked down just panic and just shift. Make crit something. There's also one up here. I can't really see. But you can't see? No, sensor is not on, so I shouldn't be able to see. One less target. Can you hit the one down there? Maybe. Oh, it's a griffin. I must have light PPCs then. Oh, plasma? Okay, never mind. <laughs> so wrong. So off the mark. Let's see. Okay. On up. Okay, let's target that Orion. Oh, that Orion was close enough to... Uh, <laughs> Also, like, get hit by the AOE of the artillery, so it actually... I think it lost all of its evasion, so... It was pretty screwed. Okay, two enemies left. Uh, definitely ahead of the curve. Yeah, I was like, where is that Crusader going? Where the heck is it going? 
Uh, right. That. Wait, who's... Okay, it's, it's still my turn. <laughs> I don't want to get a cool down on this. It's like, damn it. That's why. <laughs> because shape charge is no joke. Sometimes it just gets it done. Madness. Madness, I tell you. Madness. Yeah, these. And that. Hmm. All right. Um. Yeah. No, I I covered the four reasons. I must want to join Star League. I mean, the the funny thing about that is they were so against Star League from last season. Yeah, it was kind of hilarious. <laughs> and then, um, yeah, the new king, uh, having restoration as a puppet and destabilization the region. So everything is role play. None of it is like I I hate them or whatever. I mean that's that's the thing, right? Like I I don't need them to say, oh look, you're you're this faction, ha ha ha, we're gonna destroy you, right? Because that's what happened between uh, Canopus and uh, Capillans. They're like, oh, you're Capillans. We don't need, we don't need an excuse to uh, invade you because you're Capillans. It's like, what kind of reasoning is that? That is just stupid on so many levels. <laughs> but yeah, so... Atreus is getting flipped around a lot. <laughs> like, a lot. <laughs> Um, in the last, in the last little bit, it got flipped one, two, three, four, five, six, six times. Man, that is nuts. That is absolutely nuts. Yeah, now we're at war with Canopus. Honestly, just fortify system is boring, right? I took a day off, and then the next day, the fortifying was yesterday, and that was like no fun at all. And I'm like, what am I doing with my life? <laughs> it's like I need meaning in my life. Okay, let's go back to war. And and honestly. What what annoyed me was their them getting Merrick to urging them to call a jihad against Warlord Blake, which is really stupid because Warlord Blake hasn't attacked either of those factions, and they're like trading all of this drama. It's like, yeah. all right. Now, I'm expecting to be pushed back a bit because they have more members. You know, I'm gonna... I'm gonna have some fun, please. At the very least. Go down. Mission successful. I'm gonna at least create some havoc. So that they are not going to enjoy very much. <laughs> All right, that's a good first step. Now I just need to start causing havoc. They they do have some fortification, but it's like yeah. They do have some fortification, but I mean, come on, last last season hitting a lot less than now. I've. Like I've 
I've been part of like taking. Actually, the funny thing is like fighting Steiner. Starcat wasn't the hardest system to take. The hardest was the system of Clinton. And the reason was because it had like six factions who can generate missions. So your odds of getting your faction against Steiner is so much lower. And at that time, I, I, I had some fun, so it definitely made life easier. So that was good, but yeah. And Steiner seems to be making some progress with Comstar. And... Really? Did that take damage damage? <laughs> it's like, hmm... I'm actually not sure. Yeah, I'm gonna create a lot of havoc. <laughs> If they want to fight me on this front, they better be ready for some um, fun, 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 fun. Oh, I have backup, maybe. I mean, I I put a post. I think the other member in directorate. I mean, first he doesn't hit as hard as me, and, and second he's quite done for the night, so. Probably not expecting him to be all right. This okay, that's a good start. <laughs> Hey, if, if you can find a mission that can help you get priority missions and have better chance of generating missions, take it. Take it! Like a blessing. Thank you. Hope you enjoy the... Ah... <laughs> uh. Hmm. Our message has been updated, basically saying we have currently fighting Magistrates of Canvas, direct your forces, and refrain from attacking other factions. They should be straightforward. I think so. Actually, wait, if I, no, I find out, <laughs> I'll find out. I'm like, if you're in the middle of the game, will the message update or do you have to start a new game? I don't know. Hmm. Let's see. So oh, tiny. <laughs> no, it's it, it's weird. Like like some of them have a huge zone. Some of them are like so tiny. Like like I don't think my entire lands could fit in that. <laughs> they just differ, which is really weird. That I I never quite figured that out. Let them go first. I hope they don't pop any man units. There's a chance. I mean, I still don't know. Wait. Like, do you, do you see this? It, it doesn't even make sense. Like, two of them are facing me, and the rest of them are facing the other way. Like, how does that work? That's what you get, buddy. That's what you get. Standing by. Roger that. 
Um, Hellbringer. Like, buddy, you're not running hot enough to live up to that name. Let me help you with that. Let me help you bring hell. Except I missed, so. Alright. <laughs> I can't make you live up to it after all. Warhammer. Oh, they do have. Wait, is it the one that's behind here? Oh. Okay. Yeah. Looks like we're gonna find ourselves another bridge. Warhammer, or go after the Hellbringer. Wait. Did I miss and? I did go for the Hellbringer, right? Now I'm very confused. Yeah, now I'm like, huh, okay. Uh, I'm, uh, I'm teleporting you from uh, a cafe about so You got knocked down. I should go uh, after that Grace, which I missed horribly. Waiting for orders. Got it. Yeah, it's crazy the difference of the accuracy between. Uh, when you have sensors and when you don't. Of torso, Memel. You will go after Loki trying to take out its one of its side torso. Oh great! I was like, is the game frozen? All right, I can finish off that last enemy because. Got it down, but I didn't knock it down. Okay. Yeah, no, I, I have to actually move a mech into that zone to finish. <laughs> Crazy. I mean, like, so many positive ways. Oh, that thing just... My real gun must have missed then. That's the only explanation. Like you, a hero is some type of weird sandwich. Not some nut Thank you. On three tigers. But that should be all of them? Oh, or is there one more? Commander? I just don't know. I I'm actually not sure. Order. I, I think that's all of them. My way. Double time. One, two. Yes, Commander. Yeah, now I'm just getting paranoid. <laughs> Which is not, not good. good to go. I mean, a little bit of... Paranoia is good, right? Like a, a little bit of you know, caution, paranoia, is good. It's it's once again like too much of anything is bad. Let me turn on my lights because it's turning dark, and I don't like playing in the dark. <laughs> I'm a big scared cat. And I mean big scared cat. I also don't get why they don't let you. Uh, well, I guess it's more for balance reasons. All right, now we wait, and we wait until the time's up. Go from there. Let's see. Yeah, someone uh, like like some of the friends I I, I made. They're like, hey, we saw this. <laughs> yeah, one of them is like, it. One of them had a happy face. I'm like, oh, you see the chaos I'm creating. Like indeed, and it's exactly the chaos I was expecting and hoping for. That tip to you, my friend. Well played as always. And and really, I'm here for the role play. Like it, it makes sense. 
and he mentioned me and Sarkony. So Sarkony is the leader of uh, Cersinus. Very, very good role playing. Like he he doesn't loses his role playing. Like he doesn't. Uh, what do you call it? He doesn't lose character. Like when he talks, he he talks like he's a pirate, like all the time. Well, ex except for DMs, but <laughs> it's, it's understandable. But but when he's on like the online server, he's in character, and it's 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 pretty fun watching what he does. Like like in a way, I'm I'm this really serious director guy, and and he's like this really chill pirate guy who does what he pleases. <laughs> but yeah, that's always uh interesting. Um, they are west of um fine. Uh, south west. We um find restoration. On restoration, I've started working from the north of them. Okay, so I mean, my other member from directorate. Wish I could get that screenshot. Just need to finish this mission so I could get access to the map and I could put a screenshot in there. Hmm. <laughs> ah, that's funny. You know, there's there's some bantering. Like like one of the more fun bantering is between Merrick and the pirates. It's it's always entertaining. <laughs> oh man. Uh, no no comment. It's a very funny co uh, just a very funny comment made by someone and I, I can't help but laugh at it. Hmm. All right. Let's do this. And onwards to the next one. Well, actually, no, I'll be staying here. The question is, what are they going to do? How are they going to answer? If they have, because they are fighting pirates and they actually have a lot of ground they have. Not too surprising. All right. Uh, let's get Warhammer. I still need to clean up my storage. I, I cleaned up a bit while I was doing some fortifying because I just have access to the store. But yeah, no, it's, maybe after this war I'll be cleaning it out again. I respond. Uh. With that you'll distract heavy first. I take systems. That's a good 
Uh, no. <laughs> Oh, it does update. Okay, <laughs> I didn't realize that it it does update. I I thought you have to restart the game for that to show up. That that's cool. Because I've only made like three of these messages. <laughs> you can't expect me to know everything. Hello. That's going to take a while. Um. Screenshot here. Um, how much time do I have left? Twenty four is a lot of time. And to make cheese. <laughs> um, where is it? Maybe this can. Just helping my faction mate find the map. Because honestly, to to me at least, Directorate and uh, Appellant Colors are similar enough that if you're zoomed out enough, it, it's not the most obvious. But that's just me. Alright. Yeah, the colors are a bit, uh, to me at least, it's, it's a bit hard to differentiate at times. Hey, that's just me. What do I know? Um, I kind of wish they could. There's another system that's, uh, 12. Yeah, no, trying to get influences will be tough because they have a lot of adjacency bonuses. That will require quite a bit of powering through initially. But once things get started. Once the snow... Well, I wouldn't even call it snowballing. It's not like I'm blitzing them. It's not much of a snowball. I'll be honest. All right. Actually, I want to read what's going on, but I need to get a mission started first. <laughs> uh, okay, what do you have? Okay, so these won't be worth a lot. This might not even flip the system, I suspecting. Yeah, one step at a time. Okay, um... Um... Uh... At that... <laughs> uh. hmm. Yeah, no, it's just funny. <laughs> Comments. Uh, sure. Alright, uh, there is that. <laughs> so I was like, have you tried salt? <laughs> That's, oh man. Oh, that is funny. 
sorry, I'm just so entertained really Discord because I feel like what has what what I've triggered has probably made one player very salty. Very funny sort of salty too. I mean still salty because he's like Because he's he's mentioning how like most things he's going for just aren't And yeah, no. What's what's also funny is like the the so-called leadership of Merrick. The pirates are trying to recruit them. It's it's so funny watching them having these exchanges and be like, huh? Yes. Join them. It'd be so much easier. No, it's just funny. I get a good laugh. Okay. I. I I think I've earned it. Yeah. Waiting on you, Commander. Commander? I am the wind. Okay. Griffin. Here it comes. I mean honestly these ones it doesn't matter. It's it's so RNG. It's it says one is like a better chance than the other, but honestly it's not that much. Okay, go up. Got the legs. Oh, the entire left side. Okay. Yeah, no, it's not gonna like that very much. Can we go after that assassin? Hey, <laughs> it was what forty something percent for the railgun. It. It's a beauty. Uh, actually, yeah, no. Uh, explosive is just fine. Like, uh, apparently for artillery, you also have a direct fire. Like, if in theory it's better direct and you select uh, indirect, actually it lowers your accuracy. Oh, come on. Okay, at least you'll be able to finish it off. I mean, technically I could finish it off with thunder. <laughs> I don't think it has enough HP, but yeah. Actually, I think Thunder just have more scattering. That's how it covers the area. I actually think you should be attacking ground with that. Hmm. Okay, so there are enemy reinforcements. The question is, can I reach them? I get good sight of them. Okay, so we have a B. Wait, no, that's the red. Is it jump jet? So confused now. Omega, wow. I mean, it kind of hit. Did that miss? Maybe I can't see it. Hmm. Waiting for their turn. Ooh, acid is a little worrying, but luckily it's only acid 8. If it's acid 80, I'm like, yeah, things are gonna be a little scary. Actually, I should have used my ability for Still up. No, it ain't. Wait, there's another one? Okay, you take out some of those smaller targets. It will fall quicker. Attend them. I don't know. Maybe I'll blow something up. Not always. More like one in a hundred. <laughs> I'm not even kidding. Like the, the odds are just not that great. A lot of the times. No shooting. Just running. I mean, it's better than a coin flip. And we did hit it. That's kind of cute. Hmm. Man, that Omega is having a very bad time. <laughs> it's like, you're not missing. I'm like, I know. I think there might be another enemy here. I just can't see it. That's why I should have used the command... Command field? Oh, what? 
what, what, what do they have? Ghost, Orion, Action Man. I mean, they are still like. Yeah, I knew there was another one. Oh shit, I forgot. Eh, that's just fine. I see the enemy, so. Not that big of a deal. Oh look, everything's jammed. Huzzah! Is everything unjammed? Yes. Yeah, focus on the Hatchiman, and then the Orion. Like, these can do good damage, and sometimes if you get lucky, you just blow up their ammo. I don't know if you have a higher crit chance. Hey, Rich next. I got so sick of jamming that I sold all of my Tandem and Deathfire ammo. <laughs> How are you doing? Yeah, I could see why. Yeah, no, it's definitely annoying. And their chances aren't that good. But how are you doing? I don't know if you found where we're attacking. I know the colors are kind of similar and it's really easy to miss them. Wait, dead fire chance? <laughs> I'm like... I'm trying to remember the last time I used Dead Fire, and I'm like, I don't remember. Okay, let's do that. I'm alright, doing some base defense, which should be easy. Okay, so you're, you're fortifying things. Appreciate it. Thanks. Or you're on defensive. And <laughs> definitely on the other side of the map, so it does take a while to round. I mean, I'm currently doing the fan base. Yeah. Yeah, I'm just not sure uh, which system you're on. <laughs> so, though, to be fair, uh, they do have a lot of adjacency bonuses. So, it's gonna take me a while to crack through it. So, yeah, no, no hurry. Death command. Um, let's do. Artemis. I mean, sometimes I use tandem just for fun, like just just try to see if something happens. Uh, Ori is probably the best choice because I mean the the Orion is like vanilla uh, blackjack. Aim aim for a center torso and it's just gonna go kaboom. Walking ammo box. Hey, maybe I should be going after the ghost. Maybe. Wait, did it just? Not quite. Yeah, if my max were just a bit faster. Now let's focus on the Orion. It's a bit further back. You're not gonna overheat yet. Next turn, you will. Yeah, but jamming that happened just yeah. never feels worth it. Yeah, no. What can I do for you? Like, I, I I keep tandem because they are they are great against like vehicles. So if you're ever doing uh, ambush convoys, th there are times where you could literally one shot. Uh, Enemy vehicles. It's not guaranteed, but the chances of s something going well for those is much higher. So that's why I do keep tandems. And for some of the enemies that are filled with ammo, yeah, it doesn't doesn't hurt to try it. Because otherwise, something like Artemis. I mean, yeah, they'll remove some armor, but like, do I go for remove some armor or do I go for? Let's take a chance and maybe go big. <laughs> yeah, I, I I get what you mean by the jamming just doesn't feel quite worth it. So many positive ways. Maybe we can't lose. You're on. I don't think that one hit. Any. You're crazy. 
You finished off? Thank you. I never seem to get crits or kills for it though. That gem, yeah. <laughs> yeah, no, I get what you're saying. It does be oftentimes like that's. The Oh, that one was... was it worth more? Ah, huh, I don't know. Anyways, I made a bunch of tough choices for my mech bay. Ooh. I've accepted that I can't reasonably have all the mechs I want. Maybe not for this season. I mean, not if you're going to war. That's the thing about war. War... Like... I know in, I know in Discord, like, some people are like, Oh yeah, war is really good for, uh... Salvage is like, eh, not quite. Like, if, if I'm fortifying a system and just building up bank and salvage, I could probably gain more from that than trying to fight wars, trying to get influence and all that. Because I do fly around more. You know, people have different... Hmm... Get that. This. Oh yeah, I I just saw your message in uh, Discord. Okay. Yeah, next next season you should be able to build up. Proper mechs, have everything you want, experiment and stuff. But yeah, this season, I mean, part of the reason is we don't even know when it ends, so. A lot of unknowns. Please, Stinger and Wasp, for example, and just get one Pirate Bane. Focus. Oh, okay, I see. Yeah, before you wanted to run all of them. Oh yeah, uh, regarding your uh, comment. And, uh, Discord. Um, you want to fortify the systems that I flipped over? So, so for example, I flipped... Okay, they're here doing... Okay, they're here at Murus. You want to come help on Murus if you get a chance? There, there should be a higher chance. I mean, hopefully you get a priority. We'll get you a mission, so. More ideal. Yep, looks like Canopus is assigning some company to deal with me, which is understandable. <laughs> Very understandable. But, but honestly, I'm I'm just doing the propaganda. Me <laughs> pig. Former. Killing. I will honestly do this. <laughs> I saw that of all my Centurion, Griffin, Kintara, and 55 ton catapults. Oh, okay. So you're going for heavier ones? Yeah, like for lighter mechs to work, you need some really good equipment. That, that's what I've noticed. Because without the equipment, they, they can't compete. I also saw my backup bush whacker scrap. Ooh. I mean... Given the enemies you're fighting, a bushwhacker... Yeah, you need some very specific uh, gear for it to remain competitive and not just get like absolutely wrecked. They have two, okay. Oh, okay, so it's the 
it's the one you started off with, right? The the one you picked when you, you know, pick where from and what kind of bonuses you want. I mean, Bushwalker's solid. It's just that eventually they get phased out. Because they don't quite have the armor to deal with some hits. Pain treatment as... Okay. Just crab, right? Not king crab. King crab can be pretty solid. Okay, there's a group here. I mean, I have the long range capabilities, so I could drop here. I had a bad day and got wasted, and so did this dedicated pilot, right? And and I've I've noticed that sometimes if a mech is so damaged, it's actually cheaper to rebuild it with like the same components than trying to repair it. Like it's kind of nuts. Yeah, so my allies will deal with these guys first. Yeah, all the oddball is very. Chatty. Very chatty. A grasshopper, okay. I mean, it's it's better than uh, some noble with a cicada. Is that an axeman? Huh. I mean, the crab was lost. Turn to scrap is fine, though. I don't even like the crab. Well, I mean, the the person from Merrick loves it, <laughs> right? He's he's constantly showing off his uh, crab lens. Like up to a certain point, they're they're decent, but yeah, he, eventually you outgrow them. Like I feel like for for someone to, for someone to be able to use like mediums and lights against you know these kind of enemies, you need very good knowledge. Make it work. I don't have that kind of knowledge. Yeah, how's Merrick doing? Um, Merrick lost um, their capital earlier today, and now they're flipping it back and forth. I don't know who's the last one to to own it. But yeah, I mean, Merrick was counting on Cannabis to help them out, so but that didn't work out. Rule of cool is very important for me. Nothing wrong with that. I mean, like, like if you ever get those, uh, if you ever get those test drive uh, missions, right? Yang's like, oh, this one looks like a brick house. <laughs> That's not the compliment. And that was my point. They can go on about the crabs. See, my, my issue with Merrick is that the one in charge, Das, like, he doesn't realize the, situa the situation he's in. Right? Like, Merrick's in a bad situation. The last thing you want is to antagonize. Antagonize, you know, other faction like... Word of Blake, we could probably just wipe you out. But you know, it's like. Seems like. Das is like, yeah, I'm gonna. I will be this cool guy who will stand up against Word of Blake, and people are gonna like me for it. It's like, yeah, don't do that. Frank's not gonna be. I mean, I I don't know. I don't know if they'll survive. <laughs> I'm like, uh, Capellans are attacking them. Uh, the pirates are attacking them. Uh, we are not gonna attack them because I I feel bad if all of us pick on them. I mean, you'll be surprised. Blake, Order Blake has been more. 
worthwhile to deal with than <laughs> they're they're actually more worthwhile to deal with than a cannabis. I I know you don't like them whether it's lore or whatever, but but in terms of what has happened this season, Word of Blake is definitely one of those factions that I'm like I would rather deal with them than a lot of the other factions. Without being allied. I mean, technically you can. But I'm not gonna give you the idea because I, I need your help with this war. <laughs> technically you can, but I'm I'm not gonna share how how it could be done because I actually do need the help. Yeah, I'm I'm selfish, sorry. <laughs> Maybe after this war, I'll I'll tell you what you can do. You could try, but it's it's not gonna be enjoyable. But hey, the 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 whole point of being like head of directorate is I want to help people. So so after this war, if uh, help arrives, I'll I'll tell you how you can. Do certain things, I have no idea what just happened. I just heard a jump jet, things breaking. You know, fun stuff. Did I miss? Oh, it's already down. I mean, it doesn't make sense that you take contracts for factions, it doesn't affect. Um, like, like I get what you're saying. It's just that in terms of the coding and stuff, there are limitations, right? A, a lot of the stuff we're dealing with, like uh, like mission generation, they're all they're all from vanilla. They're they're all arcane that the developer team just haven't been able to work out yet. So yeah. I mean, they, they've done an amazing job, so I'm not going to criticize them. But yeah, that's just a state. Like a lot of the things they want to change too. They can't quite do it because, you know, waiting through all that code and fixing it and making it work the way they want it is much harder. Because I know there are... They are trying to rework it so that like if if you're just a normal mercenary, you should be able to do certain things. Yeah, that's not quite the case right now. Hmm? Yeah, maybe someday they'll be able to work through it and then they'll be like, yes, that's how it should work. I think I not found both? Or just one of them. One of them. Uh, I'm not shooting through my own mech. Very much. Oh, the terrain is uh not quite favorable. How are we doing? Oh shit, this is bad. Okay. <laughs> I don't know, it would have been fun. Let me get close there though. But yeah, no, after this war, I'll, I'll tell you what you can do. Then it should be good. And then you're, you're free to pursue whatever you want. Because after this war, there probably won't be, unless we get attacked. At that point, I'll be like, yeah, about that. About that. How's this? Okay. You need to reboot the void crashes. Hmm. 
Uh, they're still at it. I love it. <laughs> kind of banter they have. Yeah, that's how it should is. How it should be, right? You can be like. You can be enemies, but you can still banter and have a little fun. I like Blackjack okay enough. Blackjack is straightforward. It. They, they have different variants and they can all. Uh, do whatever they need to do well enough. But yeah, they're. But, but eventually you'll notice they'll get one shot it. Oh, yeah. But I have four fully built, so I kept them on back bay. Yeah. Now, they, they, they can work. So you have to be very careful with them. Actually, have you got, like, certain armors? All those others I listed before, I like more. Yeah, no, it's... They, that's the thing. When you're fighting wars... You don't always get your favorite mechs or lineup. More often than not, you're you're basically trying to pick what's the most uh, practical. I'm not surprised you keep them. <laughs> oh, okay, I see. Yeah, they are busy there as well. The... And definitely cause quite a bit of problems for them. Now the heavy max, that's where, oh, heavy max are the toughest. Like, Especially if you have to pick between like Thunderbolts, Orients. Like those are difficult to pick. Regarding what you want at your disposal. Yeah, I find, I find like Light Max, Medium Max, fairly straightforward. Starting from like heavy mechs and assault mechs, that's where it gets much tougher because you have so much room to work with, so many more options. Because you can put more equipment, more armor, stuff, right? And all of those add up very quickly. Okay, I need to actually re-root this to avoid crashes. I sold off a Thunderbolt the other day, today I sold off a Rifleman and a Grasshopper. We have one of, even though I only have the one. I mean, there's there's nothing wrong if you grow attached to certain mechs. Like, like if you can narrow down. At at that point, you might have enough equipment to really stock up that specific mech. Yeah, no, that's that's what I get from your conversation yeah fully built mix it's it's not easy but yeah i mean some of the things like i said war you have to be practical so you have to think about what you're going to use right how's your composition is this mech ever going to see action or is it just going to drain my finances when when you don't have the finances to back it up, you have to be very picky when you're fighting wars. Like if, if you're just, you know, building up mechs, doing missions and stuff, yeah. You can keep a lot, uh, do ambush convoys to build up funds and then you're golden. But in these wars, like right now, I get lucky if I find a proper mission. Orions are nice too. Oh yeah, Orions are great. And if you can get real guns and real gun ammo, you could even put them on Orients. And and if you can get some battle computers, oof, they are they are actually scary. 
you'll find that you'll be destroying your competition. And I'll be right back. Sorry. Sorry about that, just to relieve my bladder. Uh, then there's the sun spiders, I have two of those because they were gifts. All right, from the welcome to the season 1.5. I'm not really into that mech though, but I got a pilot or two which have become proficient with them. Yeah, I haven't really used them because I, I never encountered them until the loot boxes. And by then I already had this lens, so. <laughs> like yeah it's not quite happening at this at that all right anything else interesting at least none that i've noticed Um, let's see. Hmm. <laughs> oh, that's hilarious. Sounds like, oh, your black market isn't that great. I have another problem though, a good one. Wait, a, a mech that you're trying to build? <laughs> I think this is better. Yeah, I think this is still worth more influence than recoveries. May that seem fit to put enough for three complete 70 ton vultures. Ooh, vultures. You know, you, you, like I, I've been encountered a lot of them while fighting Davion. They're, they're really good money too. But they're actually decent X. Depending on the variant. Like, I find the more dangerous ones are the ones that have the ballistic hard points. Yeah, vultures are pretty solid. I don't remember the affinity, actually. Or at least their quirk. Uh, rogue tech vulture. Google that. They have plus one invasion ignore and plus one gun. Yeah, that's that's really solid. Well, I think they're omni mechs, so you give them what you want, right? Which gives you a lot of freedom. Though, so, though, in the end, it's it depends on. I mean, I I absolutely love. Omnimax, like my my first career with Rogue Tech offline, I got well second, I got Storm Crows and I was just I was just able to build them into so many different combinations. All right. Just Eyes open. beautiful.
Plus for evasion, ignore and gunnery. Honestly, that that makes it so you could turn them into missile bolts. Um, ballistics, laser, maybe. I'm I'm saying laser and PPC maybe because there's also the heat factor. I mean, I guess you can. If you give them an artillery deck, that could work. I mean, if you need artillery, they they might be. Is what do I take out and put in? Oh, what what mech to replace it? I guess my question is, like like what do you feel you're lacking? Indirect fire or direct fire? I feel like most people do pretty well in terms of direct fire, so indirect might be what you're are pretty good. Yes. I have just about all of them in my lineup of 18. Yes. Like, m m my question for you is... Like, like, for instance, do you have a lot of situations... What the hell am I waiting for? Just stuck? Is that the reboot again? Come on, game. Oh, I have two catapults. But do they do the job well enough? I might have to reboot again. Stupid. Versus. Yeah, no, it's stuck. It shouldn't take this long. See, um, I'm saying that because for, like, from my experience, not having sufficient indirect fire means that you take a long time taking out enemies that are in hard to get places. Right? I guess it like, does it matter? Like, if you want to do missions maybe faster, you might want some better uh, indirect fire mechs to help you better deal with the situation, right? Of course, if you don't care about speed, yeah, just. If you don't care about speed, maybe you check. Because if you have too many mechs of the same role, right? They're roughly the same range, they're roughly the same speed. Maybe you want to add a bit of. Maybe you want to change it up so that you're able to adapt to more situations, like different uh, mission types. Like, for example, target acquisition, you want probably. A fairly hard hitting, fast moving uh, lance. Or maybe for battle, like literally as they suggest, you want heavier lance that can take some hits, but ideally could d dish out enough damage so that you don't have to worry about taking many hits. Yeah, those are all the things you have to consider. And I really hate the fact that mission screwed up on me <laughs> like, damn it yeah, that's a little annoying but yeah sadly these are lots of questions I can't answer for you but, but hopefully it gives you enough to think about like whether you want diversity, be able to do missions faster, or just have fun, right? Just try out different things, maybe that's what you want to go for. There, there is no right or wrong answer here. I'm not, I'm not looking for an answer from you. Oh, okay, got it, sorry.
Yeah, I was just sharing my opinion. So <laughs> this is what I got on my plate currently. Oh, okay. Let's see. Yeah, no, these are like the good sort of. These are good sort of things to think about, because I think that's that's one of the main appeals of uh, Rogue Tech. They make these things uh, something you can. The number go down, maybe. I don't know. Man. And it's my game froze again. Man, this is like the game saying, "Hey, you're you're done. <laughs> you're done. Get out of here." Maybe I'll do one more mission and be done because <laughs> clearly the game is like, yeah, you know, about doing missions. Yeah. And to check the black. Oh no, that's that's our online store. Uh, we we can't access our own black market. Next, <laughs> there's a there's a important uh, differentiation between the two. So the one we have access is the online store. If we go to another faction that doesn't hate our guts, that's their black market. And then of course there's the system market. One more that I don't know what it is. And we have a piece of marauder there just tempting me. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, generally I don't check this door unless I'm like, maybe I want to do some shopping. Oh, you bought it? 470k. I mean, if it works for you, it's... I mean, I, I, I haven't had luck with... Like, I, I haven't had luck with... uh. Marauders or Marauder twos, they they just seem to experience really bad outcomes when under my command. So I'm like, yeah, like they're good max. They're they're just not good max for me. All right, if things don't bug out, hopefully. I think some of them won't be attacking me because they can't target. But you know, they might. Alright, show off. Wait, what? Rear attack? It has the angle? <laughs> I'm like, very confused. But sure, whatever the game says. Holding action, Commander. Mind my own business, so not. Primary target damage. Concentrate your fire and bring it down. All right, look. Here's my hangar of eighteen. Got it. Did I hit anything? It didn't look like it. I didn't see any numbers. Go here. Primary target damage. Concentrate your fire and bring it down. We can deal with that one, maybe. Oh, okay. Good. Oh, that was the one that. Yeah, I was like, what got behind me? Let's just put some mines, let them have fun. Let them have their own fun. I'm no party pooper. King crab. 
Charger, Black Knight, or Inquisitor. I mean, C Conquistador. Black Knight, Marauder, Orion. Yeah, that's a pretty solid defense. And and you'll be surprised how some improvement in terms of equipment can make all the difference. Like it turns them from decent lands to this is a monster. Yeah, no, those are that. That's a solid lineup. Tell you that much. And it seems to be a pretty good balance too. Yeah, critical hit. Three. I would have preferred to take it out. Maybe I should have went the shape charges. Not get fancy with HG. Yeah, critical hit. One of the charges to free up a slot. You can do that. For sure. Yeah, if you have three of them, you... Unless they're like built very differently. You want that X empty slot for vehicle. Okay. That is something to consider for sure. Hot up. <laughs> Crazy. I mean, like so many positive ways. Maybe we can. Oh, they're all. Oh, they are all different. I'm not surprised. Like I, I find that when I build max, un unless I have all the tools already, it's really difficult for me to build them the same. Because I might not have this, so I have to very. What the heck? Have you? Possible. Oh, come on. Hit that Jenner. I'm disappointed in you. Get rid of the wolfhound. One last part. Waiting on you, Commander. Actually, now let's go after the Jenner. What? I'm not. When I shoot you, you'll take it and light oh no! <laughs> no, no, I'm not talking about your wolfhound. Uh, there was an enemy wolfhound here. <laughs> <laughs> no, Rich next you you got confused. You got decapitated. Yeah, no, it's it's very great. Um, there there was if I could click it. Oh my god, it's such a mess. I came and find the. I came and find what's left of the wolfhound that was here. All right. <laughs> I hear no, I'm not. Yeah, no, I'm not talking about your. Yeah, no, it's it's very functional. Sure. Um, just uh, putting minor damage, awaiting orders. Um, one of the very best. Like, like, yeah, that's that's definitely one of those where, what what function do they serve? I've I've been told like if you want an AMS something like a Raptor to a Raptor three, just fill it with AMS and it will be a solid a AMS boat. But yeah, it it really depends on their function for sure. So, from my experience, a wolfhound, wolfhound tends to be more of a sniper than scout. But maybe that was the variant I was using. 
Feeding into Conquista. I don't even know where that is. <laughs> You're manually. But yeah, if you want something that's like fast and concealed, things like Anubis, Raptor 2, Raptor 3. Those are usually my choices. I don't know where this Conquista is. I'd be shocked if it's like somewhere along the way. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, good villains. Wolfhound has a top speed. And... But how's the stealth? I think the stealth is probably the more important thing. Because if it can avoid getting hit, it, it will be able to keep fighting. I mean, I don't know if you flank or backstab, because all of those do matter. I backstab so much. Um, makes sense. Yeah, the, the reason why I talk about stealth is if, you know, the, the enemies will get better equipment as you move up, and sometimes they'll just hit you. And your mech is going to feel it. 100%. Especially for a wolfhound. <laughs> Getting hit by most things is going to be... Not gonna enjoy it. Yeah, that's a very interesting thing. I think it's the lenses. <laughs> oh, it's fast and mobile. It can work around terrain. Yes. So Merrick has reason to retake it. Look. <laughs> I just should be Oh uh, Chancer. It's complicated. How When this is okay. <laughs> All right. I want to give you an idea of some of my pilots as well and why I'm being hesitant to switch out. You know, uh, affinities do matter a lot, so I, I can understand your hesitation to switch them out. I want to just start up here and just blast away and then jump jet. That's pretty good. But yeah, no, I, I haven't worked enough with lights and medium for these higher caliber missions. Well, let's just say that I had plans to attack the rectorate. 
so. <laughs> I'm right. Hey, look, you know, so that's the time, Orient 23. Right? I, mean, I think you need like what, 100 missions? Get the max. Uh, you are probably not the oh, yeah, first I'm, one. I, I'm no sweat, you know. Oh, of course I don't see them. Uh, let's do field command then. Another 11. Why do they consider QS max? Great, I don't see them, so I have to wait until I have my sensors are online. Let's see. Ready. Move. Waiting on you, Commander. Four bit now is at and oh, okay. Oh you're stuck. Engaging jump. Is I still stuck? That'd be hilarious. That we first said. Oh, okay, a martyr right there. Standing by. Um, ghost. The Artemis. Stone Rhino and Martyr. Ooh. Hey man, I'm about to put you on to something very good, and you are giving me a problem. Maybe I'll reserve. See what happens. Yeah, no, Os Oscar, I, I, I have given up. I'm like, I, I can't make it work. Honestly, I think Locus are better than Oscar. I'm, I'm not even joking. Like, there's a pretty big difference between the two. Get rid of you. 82 in Yeah, that's a, that's a healthy number of missions Let's see Hit, please. Yeah, I mean, I'll take it. It's a, it's a start. I have to start somewhere. 22, 26, Charger 47. Yeah, you you will notice, you will notice a difference once you start getting like, uh, 50, I think it's 50, 75, 100. I know. I mean, I'm more scared of this guy, so not anymore. That's it. And that's it for the bigger stuff. Yeah. Like, like all of my max, all of my pilots, I I think are like a hundred are very close. So yeah, not max. But yeah, those uh, bonuses. You will feel it, so it it just takes time. Like I hear ya. I've I've noticed for those you literally have to do so many missions with the same mech over and over to get those affinities. Because don't forget they also decrease over time, so I give you not running missions, so that is definitely something to take into account. A beautiful bridge, and it's gonna be there. All 
Where is it? Um, the I also don't. Ah, uh, that's all right. Let's. A crap higher was at eighty one. Probably. Yeah, through armor criticals can make. I mean, it really depends. Like I know that through armor criticals are are nasty if you decide not to carry any cases and they happen to just crit one of the ammo, and boom, gone. Okay. First, I. Act when I was only reasoning for that. Given I was. That's no. Your perspective. Piloting that more defensively now, you know. Wacker gets plus one defense. 20. Yeah, no, some of those make a huge difference. Especially early on when, like, Accuracy is definitely something difficult to deal with, right? If if you can make the enemy rolls be even harder to hit, then that only works in your favor. Do this. That I'm also busy uh typing in Discord, so it's uh you know please explain Mimetic Stealth to me. I've never installed it. Ah uh, shoot, I'm probably the wrong person because I haven't delved into stealth a lot. But I think M Mimetic Stealth you actually also need some other things that goes with it. But yeah, no, I can't. I can't help you very much, unfortunately. I say I need stealth, but stealth takes up. Yeah, I think I think you need both. I think I think mimetic stealth requires the signature damper. I mean, I just don't know how to get it on the on the mech. And hey, X Cage, welcome. <laughs> yeah, unfortunately, I haven't dealt. Hmm. Okay. They were attacking this faction to get a bigger front against. If attack Phoenix. that's scary they came hesitant but they wouldn't have if 
things work different. Yeah, sorry, I need to. <laughs> I need to do Discord in this, so it's a bit of a mess. Are those that gives you charges if you don't move? Um, let me check. I think I have me medic. Only if I remember where the heck it is. Self signature damper. Okay, so first it's the armor. You don't use charge the less you move. Uh are you install it as the armor next? That's probably the first thing. And you also need... So, so you need to reserve one slot in every location except the head. And you also need an ECM. That depends on the set. The QS stealth explicitly required. US stealth explicitly required. US stealth. There are some sets that give both of them in medic and Daphne. Yeah. Also, signature dampener. What does it say? Spark. Like, wait, that's active camouflage. Oh, are you talking about the oh the quick sell stealth X? I don't think they stack. I don't think stealth stacks the way you think it. At least not in the. Hmm. Bob and oh wait. this faction and this factions that's a topic in itself. Uh let's see. Let's see. Um, let's see. This. Do I have any missions? My voice system went in though. Boy, there's a whole system, yes. Exact item I was looking at now is active. So active camouflage is different. Active camouflage is, I think, visibility stealth. While the other ones are like... Uh... So there's visibility stealth and there's sensor stealth. But, but like I said, I'm just so clueless on these. <laughs> what is my mission? Yeah, I, I wish I could help, but I'm just so clueless on this. <laughs> um, let's go for this. I do need to get some. Active camouflage says it's... Yes, so, so you could put active camouflage on top of medic. Because from what I understand, active camouflage makes your mech harder to see. Not harder to sense, right? So, so there's like two ways for enemies to see you, either through their sensors, or they could visibly see your mech. Enhancement is extra, yes. So you need the basic one first, you, you can't place the other one 
because they will say it doesn't work. And signature dampener is, yes, I believe extra. And also kind of hard to get. Uh, let's see. There were also <clears throat> Sorry, I'm I'm trying to talk with the uh, someone from Merrick to explain why war is happening. <laughs> Oh yeah, no, Rich next. I, I wish I could help more, but like, self is something I need to experiment next season. I'll, I'll probably be asking a ton of questions. Uh, let's see. Okay. Have you figured it out? Great, because I I don't think I was much help. <laughs> but but thanks, XK. You're you're probably more helpful than me. I I haven't played enough of Rogue Tech to be like I know most of this stuff. Um. Yes and no. I need to do Discord in this, so... They also make it clear. Thanks to use... Do a lot of... How many times have this faction all right I didn't realize there were core style systems and then extra ones you could put on top of that yeah no there's quite a few things to look at and Oh look, it's the Battle of Vitals. <laughs> I didn't miss much. Oh, that's cute. I noticed that most Vitals are terrible at fighting other Vitals. <laughs> they are not properly geared for that. But yeah, thanks for the help explaining stuff, X Cage. Appreciate it. Okay, let's see. Uh, let me ask you this. How long that, um, I guess. I'm right. Hey, look, you know, if those engines are turning over, we can sneak right off the edge of Yeah, when I multitask, I can't get much done. <laughs> if I drop the tag from a bushwhacker, I could swap out a voice system and signature damper. Hmm. Do you have a clan furrow fibers? Actually, I can't remember if they're the same weight or not. Wait. Drop the tag. Well, I guess that is still one ton. Unless you have the light tag. That's 0.5. Why system takes up the armor slot? Oh, right, right. Yeah, sorry. Damn, just me, though. So you're putting a voice system on. I guess. I guess of. Bushwhacker, if you have sufficient. 
speed, like supercharger, mask, or those kind of things. It can't work? That's like a lot of flyers. I was be swapping out my LRM5 for Clanver. Oh yeah, that's definitely worth it. Clan, uh, Clan LRM are just so much lighter. They run a bit harder, but honestly, you can better manage that. Then we have a Seth. Go for a tandem, maybe we'll blow something up. Not quite, but... Right? I was standing for a long time, but then I lost his right arm once. Yeah, that's the thing, right? We're... We're usually... Don't make a lot of changes until we like oh i lost that mech so i guess now i need to change things up so sometimes losing an arm or something is not necessarily bad <laughs> oh for me at least be lazy now i carry a clan gals rifle with three tons of ammo three tons how much do you have a double bin Three tons feels like a fair bit. An RM with one ton of ammo. Looks like enemy uh, yeah, 24 shots is a lot. <laughs> I've. Like, the matches where I have 24 rounds is probably because I spend a lot of time moving. Yes, but, but you only have a single. Gals. So that means to use up 24, you need to be shooting 24 rounds. And that's like a lot. Hmm. Say publicly. This okay. and apparently I can't type. Um all right, uh, maybe let's get rid of that Victor. Yeah, I never run out of ammo, which is super great. Um, yes, you won't run out, but you know that that extra ton could also be used for something else. So I wouldn't say it's a great trade. I haven't. Okay. I could finish this. Copy that. Copy that. Somehow my ally took care of most of them, so. Waiting for orders. But yeah, part of part of the thing about uh building these is if you don't need the extra bit, the extra ton could be used for something else. But hey, I mean if it works for you, don't you don't have to listen to me. <laughs> I'm just... Oh, I have our my experiences, and it's honestly not that so impressive. <laughs> Maybe we can't lose. You're off. Okay. Yeah, no. Sorry. Sorry for expressing my pin. Um, uh, 
Let's see. And I've seen some really big in this game. Uh, yeah, that's the... That is the support lenses, which is tied to a, a planet rating, so... Some of us are just where there ends up being twenty three enemies in your mission, you start to glad you have twenty four shots. I see that. Yep. And I'm trying to <laughs> uh, that's funny. Uh, Uh, let's see. Uh, um, I don't think so. I think I'll make those stealth changes to the bushwhacker though. Hey, it's it's your mech. My my opinion unfortunately doesn't matter too much. <laughs> yeah, because that's what they are. They're they're just my opinions. Um a stealth and it's always healthy. For sure. But yeah, like part of road tech is just experiment, try what you want, see what works, what doesn't work. I'm definitely the wrong person to ask for any opinion. I should probably hmm. I keep going. Do I have another mission? Me, probably not. And it's getting late. I can continue tomorrow. Yeah, no, that's what I'll do tomorrow. I'm done for today. Tomorrow I'll resume war. And you're chipping away at them. Maybe we'll have people join me. But yeah, Rich next. Thank you for taking along. Sorry, I couldn't be more help. And thank you anyone else who's lurking. And if you're still there, Xcage, appreciate it. I'm gonna end the stream here. Thank you all of you for dropping by. I need some rest. Back to war. So gonna need to make sure I get enough sleep. <laughs> And good luck with your stealth stuff, Rishnooks. I'm I'm sure you'll be uh, 
master of it in no time. Alright, I'm going to end the stream here. Thank you all for watching. I hope you have a good one.